everyone, this is Elsie from Mockingbird Bakery. Today we'll be making three snacks to bring in the new year. We'll be making a dark chocolate bark with sea salt and roasted lentils to represent coins that will bring you prosperity in 2013. Next we're going to make one of my favorites, popcorn, with sea salt, sesame, and seaweed, a nutritious green that also represents new wealth. And finally, we're going to make an orange pomegranate ice. It doesn't represent wealth, but it tastes really good. For the dark chocolate bark with roasted lentils and sea salt, you'll need 8 ounces of dark chocolate. This is in chunks, but we'll be chopping it up into smaller pieces. 4 ounces of unsweetened chocolate, chopped. A quarter cup of coconut crystals, and a half cup of roasted lentils. I'm using green lentils, you could also use red, and if you need help roasting them, you can check below for instructions. You'll also need some sea salt to taste. Start by chopping up both kinds of chocolate into uniform pieces. Then turn on the stove to medium heat and bring a pot of water to simmer. Pour both kinds of chopped chocolate into a heat proof bowl and place them on the pot of simmering water. You can also use a double boiler if you have one. Stir while the chocolate melts until the chocolate is 3 quarters of the way melted and then immediately take it off the heat. At this point add in the coconut crystals. They're low glycemic so they're a lot better for you than regular sugar. Pour it onto a parchment paper lined pan and try to spread it out as evenly as you can. If you're not sure where to find coconut crystals or coconut sugar, you can check the links in the description. After you've spread around all the chocolate, sprinkle on the roasted lentils and sea salt. You can really use as much sea salt as you'd like. Then put the whole tray in the freezer just for a couple minutes to let the hardening start. After you take it out of the freezer, let it finish cooling the rest of the way before you break it up. You can break it into as many pieces as you'd like. And now it's ready to eat. This is a snack that really lasts a pretty long time, unless you eat it too fast, and is really good to give as a gift. For the sesame seaweed popcorn, you'll need a half cup of white or yellow popcorn kernels. Two to four tablespoons toasted black sesame seeds. You can see how to toast them below. And one to two sheets of toasted seaweed. You'll need five tablespoons of high heat oil divided and sea salt to taste. Cut up your sheets of seaweed, just the normal sheets of seaweed that you would use for making sushi. Cut them into confetti-like pieces. And then combine your oil with your sesame and your seaweed. Put two tablespoons of your oil in a large pot on the stove. Heat it on medium low and then test a couple of your kernels with the lid propped on the pan. When the kernels pop, add in the rest of your kernels and prop the lid back on the pot. When the popping slows for two to three seconds to pop, pour half of your popcorn into a large bowl and sprinkle your topping on it. Put as much sea salt as you want in there and mix it around. And then repeat with the second half of your popcorn. This popcorn makes a really great quick and easy snack and you can even make the topping and save it for later. For the orange pomegranate ice, you'll need four cups of ice, two cups of orange juice, and three quarter cup pomegranate juice. Pour all the ingredients into the blender. I'm using a Vitamix, but really any blender will get the job done. If you're gonna be saving this for later, you can put it into ice cubes and freeze it and re-blend it. I like to use oranges and raw honey to garnish the drink, or you can use raw agave. Even though it's a cold drink, this drink is perfect for winter because it's filled with vitamin C and antioxidants. These snacks are really easy to make and they're also filled with healthy ingredients. Let us know what you think in the comments below and if you like what we do, please subscribe and check back every Monday for new recipes that are gluten-free, low glycemic, and delicious. Thanks for watching guys!